What's up YouTube? It's First Shift here. <clears throat> and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak and unlock plus how to downgrade back to 3.0 or 3.0.1. But to get this started I'm going to show you how to jailbreak uh, or unlock to the 3.1 firmware. As you see here, general, about you see right there 3.1 so this is showing you I am on 3.1 it's a custom firmware as you see I got Cydia so to get this it's a uh, very easy first thing you do is plug in your phone or your iPod touch to the computer and open up iTunes Let it sink here. And uh, you have to be jailbroken already on 3.0 or 3.1 for this to work. So if you're not, it won't work. But I'll show you how to do it there. Um, in my more info section, I'll have a links for all the downloads. Um, all you'd have to do, now I know some of you guys out there, or there's another guy out there that puts in DFU mode now. I didn't do it you don't have to do it so as long as your phone's jailbroken and you have your themes whatever on there this will work so you don't have to go to DFU mode I did this first try with no error codes or nothing at all this was strictly the first try right on there so to do it all you do is put your mouse over restore and you do shift right click let go this will pop up slide down till you find the firmware you downloaded as you see right there double click it I'll show you and boom it would start doing the uh, jailbreak now like I said you don't have to be in DFU mode to get this to work I wasn't I didn't get one error and I got my Cydia and everything else. It does work. So you don't have to do that DFU mode and get all the error codes if you're using this firmware that I'll give you in my more info section. This is strictly just shift right click, find the correct uh, firmware off your desktop and put it on there. Now let's say you wanted to put this back to 3.0 or 3.0.1 you could do that for any of the devices um, if you have the iPhone 3GS you could also do it with that as long as you have this your file saved on 3.0 or 3.0.1 you could also downgrade your 3GS now if you did this through Apple and you upgraded 3.1 you won't be able to um, but as long as your device was jailbroken and you want to go back to 3.0 or 3.0.1 even with the 3GS you could totally do it and it's all done the same way and I'll show you how so as you see it's still connected as I showed you for the jailbreak all I want you to do is the same thing roll reverse so click on uh, put your mouse over the restore shift right click and you'll get the window. Now I am going to search for my iPhone stuff. And you should have these files saved. If not, you could get them off any uh, good form like Mom, My Eye or anything like that. Go here. <clears throat> and if you see here, 3.0.1 firmware. If I click on that, there it is. And it's going to extract it. And it's going to put it back to 3.0.1 or 3.0 firmware now if this video runs out in time I will make a part two to do this because it does take a second I want to do this live to show you how so bear with me so if I do run out of time there will be a part two so this is going to show you how to jailbreak to 3.1 or how to downgrade to 3.0 or 3.0.1 it's very simple A lot of you guys that want to go back 
And as you see, I did use my phone to do this. I didn't use an iPod or anything like that. So it's showing you how to do it and stay unlocked if you're unlocked. Um, it's showing you the right way how to do this. And again, if I run out of time, I will make a part two video for this. So just bear with me. <clears throat> may take a few seconds for this to kick back to 3.1 or excuse me 3.0.1 or 3.0 as you see it's preparing the iPhone to downgrade as you see the gel breaks pretty much the same way as I showed you you know you don't have to put in DFU mode you can do it just with whatever you even if you had a theme on there you could do it and it's going to do it the first time first try and uh, there's no error codes. I promise you, I did it. There was not one error code I had. I did it the first try. As you see, it's starting to extract the files and I'm downgrading. And hopefully, hopefully this goes fast enough so I can show you how to do it without a part two, but I will if I need to. I know you guys are, uh, want to get to 3.1. To me, it really doesn't have nothing to offer with the custom firmwares for Windows. Um, I'd definitely wait until something came out. But if you insist to do it, this is how to do it. I mean, it's just download the firmware, shift, right click, find your firmware on your desktop, and install it without, without any error codes, and you're good to go. So. Let's hopefully this will work fast enough to get back to show you how to downgrade as well. Like I said, you can do this with the 3GS as long as your files have been saved on Cydia. And again, if I run out of time, I will make a part two of this. So please watch it, and uh, I'll show you how to jailbreak and downgrade from 3.1, because it's not hard at all. It's pretty easy. It may look like I have to make a part two. So as long as you followed me from here, what I did is, all I did was, uh, I was on 3.1, I went to Shift Restore, and I searched for my old firmware from uh, what I was on before, which was 3.0.1, and I installed it. And uh, I'm going to stop the video here, and I'll make a part two to carry on from where I left off on this.